In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to censor faces by applying different types of blur, and also how to do the classic censorship of the black square in the eyes. And not only am I going to teach you how to censor faces, we'll also censor the license plate of a car that's going at full speed. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, we have to have the video clip to which we want to apply the censorship. Now we click on any node, then we'll make a mask on the face of the person to later be able to apply the censorship only on the face. For this, we must go to the window menu of DaVinci Resolve. We can see that there are square shaped, circle and customizable masks. These can be created and modified manually more freely and create more complex shapes than circles and squares. In this example, we will use a simple circle shaped mask to be able to select the face of the person. We click, and this circle will appear in the viewer. This is our mask. We must move it and align its size so that it only occupies the face area. Click on these white circles to modify their size. If we move these circles that have a red border, we will modify the softness of the edges of the mask. The edges of the circle will be smoother as if we apply a blur. I'm going to put a little softness to the edges. Once we have finished placing the mask, the next step is to trace the movement of the mask. If we move to another frame of the video, we can see that the mask does not follow the movement of the head. For this reason, we must do the tracking, so that when we put the censorship effect on it, follow the movement that the face does very well. Now click on the tracking icon this menu will appear. Here, we see that we've activated these tracking parameters. X-axis, Y-axis, zoom, rotation, and 3D. Only, you have to activate the movements that are present in your video. Okay, a simple explanation so that it is understood. Y-axis, up and down. X-axis, if there is movement from left to right. Zoom, rotation, and finally, 3D movement. In my case, I can deactivate 3D. In my video, it's not necessary because the person's face only moves in the X and Y axes. It has zoom and also rotate. Perfect. Now we're going to track the mask. We must track the movement of the face throughout the video forwards and backwards. For this, we have to click on this icon that has two arrows. If we click on the icon to track forward, it will only track the part on the right, leaving everything to the other part of the video without tracking. Said that, we click on the icon of the two arrows. Now DaVinci Resolve will do the tracking. It does not usually take long. We check that the mask follows the face correctly, and it seems that everything is fine. Okay, now it's time to apply the blur to the mask that we've made so the face will be unrecognizable. We go to Effects and look for the Blur effect. Here we have several types of blur. I recommend using two. First, we will use the Gaussian blur. We click and drag it to the node. As you can see, it has applied the Gaussian blur only to the person's face. Perfect. Now we're going to try the other blur. We return to the effects, and this time we will use the mosaic blur. When applying it, we see that this blur is totally different. Use one or the other, it depends on taste from each one. We can modify the appearance of the blur in these bars from here. We adjust a little the frequency and the aliasing, and this would be the final result. Okay, we have already done the censorship with the blur. Now we're going to learn to do the classic censorship where only the eyes are covered. The first step is to go to the Masks menu. This time we will select the mask with rectangle shape. Now we place the mask on top of the face and modify its size by clicking on the white circles. Okay, now we modify this part and place it well. We decrease the softness of the edges and finished. As in the previous example, we must do the tracking. We do it exactly the same. We open the tracking panel and click on the icon of the two arrows. DaVinci Resolve will do the tracking in a moment. Okay, 
The mask is a little small. Don't worry, we can increase its size so that it covers the area more of the eyes. Now it would only be necessary to convert the mask that we have made in black color. To do this, we click on the curves icon, this here. Now we modify the curves so that the mask is completely black. Simply select the circle that is above and move it completely down. And we would have the censorship finished. And now we go with the last example. This could be the most complicated, since it's necessary to censor the license plate of a car in a shot where there's a lot of movement. Here we have the video of the car running. We can see that the license plate moves from one side to the other. And there's also a lot of camera movement. How can we censor this video? Well, very easy. First, look for a frame where the license plate is clearly visible. Then click on the window icon. And this time, we're going to select this mask that has the icon of a feather. With this type of mask, we can create the shape manually and do it as you want. It's very simple. Just go to the viewer and now left click. Again, left click. And so here we create the shape of our mask. To finish, just make the union with the first point that we have created. Finished. We would already have our mask created. Now we go to the monitoring panel to be able to do the tracking. We have to track the movement of the license plate throughout the video. To do this tracking, I'm going to activate the 3D function. Since this video has a lot of movement, it will make the tracking much better by having it activated. Very well. Next, we click on the icon of the two arrows to track the movement of the license plate. We see that now it takes a little longer than in what's previous examples. This is because we have activated the 3D motion tracking. When DaVinci Resolve has finished with the tracking, we can put the license plate completely white or black in the curves menu. But for this video in particular, I would recommend putting blur since I'm sure it will be much better. We go to effects, we look for the Gaussian blur effect, and we drag it to the node in which we have made the mask. You can configure the appearance of the blur to your liking, and you would already have the video with a license plate completely censored.